The Bessemer process was influential in the Industrial Revolution in Great Britain. The Bessemer process was the first inexpensive process for the mass production of steel. The process was very efficient and so decreased labor requirements for the production of steel. The process consists of removing impurities from molten pig iron with oxidation from air being blown through the iron. The mass production allowed railroads to be stronger than iron predecessors. It also improved the stability of buildings. Some disputed this method because of quality issues, and so they used the Thomas Gilchrist method instead, which produced stronger steel but was less efficient. By the end of the 19th century, the Bessemer process produced over 10 million tons of steel. Historians have argued that an industrious middle class made great fortunes in the early days of the Industrial Revolution. They converted their economic success into political power in the 1832 Reform Act when they were able to successfully get into political positions. Local voluntary societies such as mechanic, mechanics institutes and temperance societies promoted improvement, cross-class communication, and rational recreation. Samuel Smiles wrote Self Help in 1859, outlining the reasons why rich and poor people are the same. Education reform, factory reform, and the new poor law emphasize this process and civility through work, thrift, and rationality. Urbanization. The urbanization of Great Britain had both positive and negative effects. On the positive side, the economy improved and factories grew. For example, Manchester grew to become a cottonopolis. The area was perfect for the growth of cotton and building of cotton mills. This major production brought people to come to work, which required more housing. As the factories expanded, so did the town as a whole. Negatively, there was no form of regulated waste removal system. This led to an outbreak of the fatal disease, cholera. When the waste in people's basements built up, they started throwing it into the nearby rivers. This was not a smart move. You see, what they didn't know is that cholera wasn't airborne, it was in the water. And now, it was in the water that they drank from. This sickened and killed many alive at the time. Numbers suggest that the female labor force participation was low, 40% working only domestic jobs. Many of the women working weren't even listed as workers or employees in the census. Most female workers were between the ages of 13 to 20, with some being less and some being older, but those were only minimum. Average wage for women was around five shillings, where for men, it was 15 to 20 shillings. I'm so tired. Stop whining. I'm hungry, I'm tired. I don't care, stop whining. Get up, right now. No food or water for you. I can't. Get up, get up. Boss, do you have my pay? Oh, um, yeah, here you go. This is it? Yep, that's, 16 hours. that's all you get. You're a child. That's all you deserve.